Pencil Club. I'm Pam Carricker, and I'm really excited to be this month's designer. And I have some really cool stencils that I hope you like that were inspired by some artwork that I've been doing for several uh, years now. And I wanted to share my love of Frida Kahlo with you. So my my whole uh, inspiration for this comes from from Frida. And she has, I have a couple books of hers. This one's really cool. I just got it um, not too long ago, but it's her actual journal pages that are really interesting to look at and very, um, very simple, kind of messy and, and not, you know, beautiful, perfect journal pages like we see a lot of times, but just really her thoughts and inspiration down on paper visually and with words. Um, so I kind of wanted to play off of that with this month's stencils. And um, so I'll show you some inspiration that I drew from to create the stencils first. Several, uh, I have several, several, several sketchbooks with drawings of Frida in them. Um, lots and lots and lots of drawings of Frida. There we go. Just Frida-esque inspired work. And I like to just play with, you know, Frida's features and kind of, do other artwork off of them. So I've got just, you know, I pulled from some sketches of Frida and um, I've done, used those sketches in various ways. I've made uh, linoleum block carvings off of them. That's what these are. This is linoleum and I carved um, Frida into it off of my sketches. I turned them into black and white images and then carved her. So that's one thing I've done. I've used um, Frida's, I've used the block carvings to also create artwork. Um, you know, just various ways, Ooh, this way. Various ways of uh, using prints and collage, thermofax screens, you know, all kinds of stuff to create um, various images of Frida. So then I decided when I was trying to think about what I was going to do for my design for the, the, um, my month in September, I decided to go ahead and use Frida's image because it's not something that I would want to put out there for sale because I'm still exploring Frida and I don't normally like to give away something as a design element until I'm kind of done um, exploring it myself. Um, because then it's time for me to move on and, and start exploring something else. So when I came up with the doing the Frida thing, I thought, you know, um, if I did it for stencil girls, then it's something that you and I share, but it's not necessarily something I'm selling to the world yet. It's just something we're sharing for a month. Um, so I came up with these really cool Frida stencils, and I really, really like them. It's got the image of Frida. I gave you, you know, her name. Um, this is all backwards. I gave her name. And I did some images like the parrot because that comes up a lot in her work. And the monkey was Mary Beth's idea. She's like, oh, you gotta have a monkey in there. So I put a monkey in there and some leaves because there's all, in a lot of her work, there's a lot of foliage behind it and things and a flower. And the flower is actually a celery rose. You know how you cut off the end of the celery and you can stamp it. I actually stamped it onto a carving block, carved it out, and that's what this image is. I just had that image made into a stencil. So, you know, you can always find inspiration even in your vegetables. Um, and so I took those images and I thought, I would really like to focus on art journaling off of Frida's book. Um, and I thought that would be a fun thing to do just to show some, some fun and quick things that you can do in your art journal because not everything you do has to be a perfect finished piece of artwork. There's a lot that goes on in the creative process that's captured in art journaling that's beautiful and a little raw and just really fun to play with. So I'm going to be showing you um, some different art journaling um, things that I did with using the images that I gave you. And this is kind of a funky little raw page. This isn't the finished page. It's just one that I did with the stencils playing with it. So I'll keep the what I'm really going to do for the video a little bit secret. But um, we're going to just have fun. It's going to use simple things, simple mediums that you I'm pretty, pretty sure you probably already have in your studio. 
Um, so that will help it be just a really fun, easy process and no, you know, no mistaking, no make, making mistakes. It's art journaling. It's great. It's all fun. And we're going to do a little, you know, what would Frida do kind of thing. So what would Frida do? Frida would make art. She made art no matter what was going on in her life. She made art. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get over any fear of, you know, making a perfect page or creating perfect art. And we're going to make um, Frida inspired art. So I hope you'll have fun with me. I'm really excited about my new stencils. Really, really excited to see them in this form. And we're going to have some.